water. There's fish in here. I don't think I know who built the... So FDR had these commissioned to be made? Um, well, I'm sure you, under, you understand the part of history where the United States went into the Great Depression, correct? Yes. And during that time, you know, they're just... People, men, you know, because women didn't work as much, didn't find work. And Roosevelt and his group thought up the. So this is the new one. Civilian Conservation Corps. It was almost like being in a military unit in that you lived in barracks and you ate in the mess hall. But what they did was different areas would apply for um, help with something. And Tucson asked that they come up to this recreational area and build retaining walls and it used to be all the bridges the bridges they had built and they built picnic tables um, it was it was very successful in that there's still evidence of what they did and we're talking about structures that are getting close to be a hundred years old and so not a, they didn't just past the time they really did work and do it right. They had engineers with them that would tell them what to do. They, some of them were, got into, um, like they would go in and, and clear land with timber, not to be l lumberjacks, but to for ha fire hazards. They did all sorts of things. So it was a real important part of history. Not talked about. School. Well, I had the regular history, and you know, all I can say is, if I had been an AP, I probably would have learned a lot more. Um, to be honest, like, did you know that there was a prisoner of war camp here? No one, not no one, ever said up, anything. It's up on Mount Lemmon. I guess the you know it, it pretty well was torn down because government didn't want to remember that. Uh, we didn't do things like that, but we did. And uh, so, but the foundations were still there the last time I went in that road. Uh, but you know, that's a piece of history that doesn't get talked about enough, unless you have an interesting history teacher. I don't think you're going to capture that elusive butterfly. I see something in the bush though. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a orange peel. <laughs> this is disappointing. <laughs> I thought it was like a bird. It is. It's the orange peel bird. <laughs> Haven't you seen those all around? No. <laughs> yeah, I think, um... Some parts of history we just kind of skip over. Which is kind of sad, don't you think? Yeah. Was, you know, the actor, um, one of the actors in the original Star Trek series was in one of those camps.
Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he was. He's a Japanese American. Oh, he was in a prisoner of war camp. Yeah. Just because he was of Japanese ancestry. And, and he goes on like shows. He does shows talking about it. Because he wants people to remember. He doesn't want it to be forgotten. Well, because we did. We, I was standing in the post office. I nearly had a cow. I don't, you know, I try not to speak out to people I don't know. I don't know why we have to go up and help other people get their freedom. No one helped us. <laughs> and I'm going, oh my word, what history class did she take? <laughs> There's the French helped us. Quite a bit. There was that one battle that we sat on the shore and watched. Holy. Why do you think there's so many things in the east named uh, Pulaski? <laughs> Something smells good. joys of living with your grandfather. I don't care where you were, he could tell you a piece of history about it. <laughs> he loved his food and he really remembered it. And not just because he taught it. more water there is running. Oh, oh, you okay, Grandma? I fell in a hole. Watch out for holes. Well, you can see where the water come down. See how yeah. it's uh, left debris on that. branches that were sticking out. Ooh. Dead cactus over there. They warned me a couple of times when I said I was coming to Arizona. They said, if you're out, it sunscreen it up. Every two hours. Every two hours. They said, you don't know how much you're losing, sweating and losing. The problem without doing it without a mirror is you have to do it with somebody you know because you can say, you see any white splotches that I missed? Over by your lip on that side. Okay. Yeah, you got it. They're good. Make sure I put the tops on this. Like I said, I don't want to lose one drop of it. Well, now here is a photographic sort of thing. Getting this in the foreground. And there's that building. I believe the Conservation Corps built it too. The building right there. Mm -hmm. So get this branch in it. 
even if it's just a little, it's, it's one of those artsy ones. <laughs>